We selected a winner, and uh, this year's winner is Langley Fenson from Staley, North Carolina. And they finished in record time, faster than anyone. They actually after, completed their fence 42 minutes early. 42 minutes early, after a very discouraging first round. Which was about 40 minutes faster than anybody else. All the yeah. other fencers finished at the buzzer. Um, the things that we looked for as judges um, was the artistic impression that we saw in the work that he did. So looking at the quality of his knots, looking at some of the creative things he did with his wire work, looking at how he sourced his material. He's the only competitor here that used a 12 foot strut. He um, selected the highest grade materials that were available for him and he uh, used everything he needed to crank out a near perfect fence. We've, the point system, we, we deducted very few points. Very few, I think there was, there was five points deducted on Langley. Five points out of a 115 For, point scale. Got to nitpick something yeah, somewhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, looking at the things that he got right was the consistency of his work throughout. All of his net is evenly tensioned. His bottom wire is very tight. His barb wires on top are very good. He even went the extra mile to line up his barbs to match. And he used a little bit of artisan knot work here to make his knot into a barb. So that's something that really creative that we saw here. Moving on down the line, um, Gavin worked the most efficiently at doing what he needed to do to finish in, in record time. So um, back here, you can also see some of his artisan work. Looking at his knots here, he's turned his figure eight knot into a barb. All of his knots, all of his knots line up perfectly throughout the net from top to bottom. All of his measurements were exactly spot on, not even off a sixteenth of an inch. Everything was perfect. So right here, he even has his spacing between his stay wire is perfect in this place. So, this is so all, all contestants were required to cut their wire and put a splice in it just to show their, their ability. And this is what we're looking at here. And as people navigated this changing terrain is where we got to see a little bit of um, artistic impressions. Is that the right word for that? Creative fencing. He navigated this turn down the hill with a breast block in the ground to prevent this post from sliding down, welded it in place, and this would be buried back subsurface if it were not in a contest. They were given choice of post material. They had to construct the fence with the woven wire, two strands of barbed wire, and then one bottom wire of smooth. It's 842.6 yeah, tornado. Said fixed knot high tensile wire with two strands of tornado four inch spacing high tensile barbed wire 14 gauge and that completes today's shootout yeah let's go announce some winners yeah let's do that